Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited to see you again. So today I wanted to test out a bunch of new makeup that I got. I decided to just combine them all into one video. Now I did get some new Morphe products. They were kind enough to send them to me as PR. Now if PR kind of bothers you and you're not down with it, then you can go ahead and click out of the video, so no worries. But if you're interested to see what kind of products I'm going to be testing, then stay tuned. All right, all right. So today I've got the Morphe, what is this? The 35W palette. I mean, this is gorgeous. It's got tons of purples, oranges, really cool, interesting colors. And I love that they've got some really cool sparkly ones. I did get a chance to check out this really awesome, like, orangey color right here. And I'm so excited to use that as a transition color. It's gonna be bomb. Um, okay, oh, also, just a quick side note, I've got new brushes from Morphe to try out as well. Honestly, I've never tried Morphe before, but you know what? I'm trying to approach things with an open mind. I know that they do like a lot of promoting with other influencers, but this is just me testing it out, so I honestly have nothing to go by, but let's go ahead and add this transition color. So I'm just adding it like right, ooh, it's beautiful. I'm adding it right um, in my pseudo crease that I'm making because I've got my concealer underneath the brow bone. Now I am noticing that initially it goes on pigmented and it does blend out nicely. So I feel like you can't really go wrong. And the brush I'm using, this is the M504. So far it's so nice. This is more of a pointed blending brush. Let me get a more diffused one. Since this is more pointed, you can definitely get into those specific areas. And it does blend it out very, very nicely. And you see that's really subtle as well. I will say that I think that if you want the colors to appear way more pigmented, then you're gonna have to build it up. But as long as you don't mind that, then that's fine. All right, so I'm really happy with the way that looks. Transition is super nice and subtle, gorgeous. I'm digging it. So now I'm going in right underneath uh, with this color here. I don't know what it's called. It's just a like cool toned brown. And I'm going in right here from the middle to the outer part of the eye. And I'm just darkening that up because I think I wanna use some more brownie tones. You know what I'm saying? So I'm still sticking in the transition area, blending the cool toned brown and the orange together. Adding in a bit more orange, because I kind of lost some of it. Ooh, so now I've got this gorgeous pressed pigment. It's called Dress to Impress. And I'm digging this. I'm gonna dip my brush right into it. Oh wow, oh my god. So much pigment comes off at once. I'm really impressed. Um, I'm gonna spray some Fix Plus because that's how I like to do things with my shimmers. Ooh. Now that is really, really, really <laughs> pigmented. Oh my God, you guys. I'm officially not a Morphe hater. So this is definitely going on with like a foiled texture. I'm gonna use the other side that's cleaner and just pat that out. Okay, Morphe, I see you. Morphe did not come to play with these. Like, whoa. <laughs> I'm really impressed. Actually, I'm kind of shocked. Yeah, kind of shocked. Um, Let's see. I'm going in with a normal blending brush and I'm gonna test out this black shadow here. It's got a bit of some sparkle in it, so let's smoke this out, guys. So freaking pretty. I mean, I really just mixed a whole bunch of different colors together. And I'm using really small, like circular, not small actually, sorry guys, big circular motions. <laughs> and let's wing this out. And don't worry, we're gonna like clean this up with some 
makeup wipes. I'm surprised how pigmented this is. Like, holy moly. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and clean up my shadow and we will continue. All right, so I'm back. Uh, I have to switch up my camera angle a little bit. Now I've got their liner here from Morphe. It's called Slate. And just a regular little uh, angled brush that has many uses. And I'm not gonna do a winged eyeliner. Oh, snap, you guys. This is a really creamy, what the hell? Like, damn, I feel like I'm so late to the Morphe train. So I'm not gonna do a winged liner. I'm just gonna do like a normal liner just because that's what I'm feeling lately, you know? I feel like the winged liner sometimes looks a bit too dramatic for my daytime kind of look. One thing I love about this liner is that it's just so smooth. It's almost comparable to like Inglot's. Like that's how much I like it. See how beautiful this looks guys? I'm sold. As far as mascara, I'm using the Pure Fully Charged. This is nothing new. Um, honestly, I wouldn't say that like you can't live without it. It's just, it does what it's supposed to do. My lashes are honestly so tiny that honestly, it takes an act of God to lift them up. <laughs> so I just popped on some lashes really, really quickly. Uh, these were the House of Lashes and Sephora collab in the uh, style Timeless. And they're really, really natural and flirty. Definitely for daytime or those of you guys that like don't like lashes at all. You don't want it to be dramatic, you know what I mean? It's really natural. So for primer, I'm going in with this, uh, what is it, Temptu Smooth Base Primer. It also mattifies, which is what I need during the summer. So you guys are gonna like trip out over this foundation. It's from Derma Blend, and it's their leg and body makeup. It's got SPF 25 in it, and it's buildable liquid body foundation. Now, don't be fooled just because this is leg and body makeup. Of course, you know, it does cover up like deep pigmentation, tattoos even, but you can use this on the face. The main reason why I'm gonna use this today is I know a lot of you guys live in humid climates during the summer and you've been asking me like, hey, can we get like a sweat proof or humidity proof, you know, uh, foundation or face routine and this little guy is it, okay? Now, the one thing about this is once you apply it to your face, you want to let it sit for two minutes, and then you wanna take the Derma Blend Translucent Powder and set that. Now, this is gonna make it waterproof, this is gonna make it sweat proof, transfer proof, everything, okay? So you will need to go ahead and take a um, makeup remover that has oils in it to remove it. It won't just wash off with your water or anything like that. That's the only thing. But I'm telling you, honey, if you want something sweat proof, this is it. Now that I've set it with the translucent, it does look, you know, a little bit pasty in some areas, so I'm gonna warm it up with my warm saffron powder. Now, I'm gonna keep it real with you guys. Honestly, I'm gonna skip concealer today because I don't feel like it's that necessary and I don't wanna wear heavy makeup. I feel like it looks really, really nice. Now, I will go in with my Derma Blend Warm Saffron to set the foundation under there. Now, I don't know what I was thinking, you guys, but I forgot an inner corner highlight. I'm gonna use this color right here, so pretty, and I'm just gonna dab it on very lightly. Now, for a little contour action, I'm using the 9C palette, and I'm going into this color right here with, what brush is this? The R7. Ooh, it's really pigmented. Hope it's not too pigmented, you know what I mean? Ooh, okay, yes. Light touch, people, light touch. Mm, look at that. That's like way, way, way too chalky. Okay, honestly, it's a no for me with that contour. Let me go into my Ride or Die, my Tartiste Makeup Shayla palette. 
See, even that didn't cover it. I think I need to go on top with some cream contour. Ugh. I really wish I didn't use that one. I'm using my Black Radiance Cream Contour. Seems to be doing the trick. I mean, it does look a little bit awkward, but whatevs, guys, whatevs. Okay, so that looks a lot better. Let me go ahead and do my cheeks. Okay, so first impression on that contour palette. That darker shade was way, 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 way too muddy looking. Like, uh-uh, uh-uh. Not feeling it, of course, that was the only shade I tried. I can't speak for the other ones in the palette. That one I do not like. Now, when I did go ahead and use this, the R8, to blend it out, um, there were definitely quite a few brush hairs that shed, like around my hairline when I was, you know, doing this. It did blend very effortlessly, but I just wanna let you guys know that it does shed. This is the only one that I've encountered that sheds so far, so, it's not that bad, you know, MAC brushes shed way, way, way worse, or at least the ones that I have. Um, but let's go ahead and continue and let's move on to blush. So I'm gonna go into, oh, things are falling. I'm gonna go into the blush palette. This is the Morphe 9B. And I don't know, I'm feeling like this one right here in the top middle. That looks really cute. <gasps> Oh my gosh, you guys, it's so pigmented. Ah! Damn. Okay, Morphe. The blush is actually really good, but it's very pigmented, guys, so go easy. Again, I used this one, and technically it's the bottom middle, but I just flipped it around for you. So far, I love it. You know, I can never have enough blush, so... I'm feeling it. Now for highlight, I'm gonna dip into the 9BZ palette, and this one right here looks pretty darn cute to me. Let me just dab that on. And it's really, really light, guys. It's kind of more of a little bit of an intense glow. I kind of like it. Now, of course, I've gotta use my Fix Plus to melt everything together. To finish up with lips, I'm going to use this Clove and Hollow Lip Gloss, and it's new to me. This is like the first time I'm trying anything from this company, and this shade is called Angelic. Now, this is definitely a really nice, like, pink feminine shade. If you do want it to be more opaque, I definitely suggest using a liner of the same color underneath. For me, I don't really mind, but I do like that it's definitely something that's moisturizing. You can use it every day, and it's pretty cute. Okay, so I really hope you guys enjoyed this first impressions tutorial. You know, to just sum everything up, there were some really good things. I really enjoyed the Morphe brush. All of them, except for the one that I used to like diffuse out my contour, my cream contour. I just didn't like that it sheds. That's something that personally bothers me, although I know it's not a big deal to some of you guys they are more cheaper affordable brushes so it doesn't really matter you know but just a heads up also that contour palette was ugh, ugh, just no no thank you for that deep shade <laughs> um, things that I really like I love the eyeshadow palette I love the liner thought that was killer um, also like I said some of the other brushes were really really amazing I'm really digging this lip color as well and the foundation let me just tell you guys it's super hot in my room and I'm not melting so like that says a lot because I have oily skin and I think and I hope that it's going to perform well for the rest of the day with that being said let me know what some of your favorite products were down in the comments section and I will see you guys in the next video. Love you guys. Bye.